Hey everyone, next little tool video we're going to do here as part of a series um, originally written in a blog at digitalmapmaking.com. I'm not updating it that much anymore, but we did geojson.io. Now we're going to look at MapShaper. So MapShaper, again, a really, really awesome one. I do use it a little less than geojson.io, but in the cases where I use MapShaper, it's just so helpful. So one of the great things about it, I say here, is you can upload a very large shape files and the size won't crash, and it does a lot in the browser. Browser. It does a lot in being able to shift between different types of geographic files. So in this case, I'm going to again use the same file I used in the last video, and we're going to import the indigenous languages file. So when we import it, we don't get a background map, but we can see all the shapes drawn directly on the map. So this is really helpful if you're using different coordinate systems, or if you know, you're know you using such a huge file. Um, I've uploaded things in here that are gigabytes in size and it still loads directly in the browser. Really handy for visualizing the data and getting a handle on it, again, for debugging purposes. Uh, another really, really useful thing here is simplifying data. So sometimes clients will maybe send me like, let's say they send me boundaries of the states, of the, of the states of the US, and we don't really need them for our application in huge, huge detail. I mean, in this case, we don't having states, but you can see this is fairly simplified. But if I have every tiny little detail, the file is gonna be so big and if I want to reduce it from, say, a 10 gigabyte file and have it just be something that I can upload into Mapbox or, or load onto a client, I can simplify. So I can go right here and just add, ask, ask for simplification, p apply it, and then do the amount I wanted to simplify. And it does it live right in front of me. So I can see where the loss is. So even if I go down a little bit here, you can see I've already removed 30% of the complexity and there's no visual difference. Of course, there will be a visual difference when we zoom way in. If we add this back, uh, we still don't see it. It's just removing from the more complex shapes. So this is really handy compared to having to like go into QGIS or go into ArcGIS or do something and simplify. You just dump a shape file or a GeoJSON in the browser into this site, simplify it. And then when you're done, you're, you just press uh, export and you can choose any format you want to export it in shapefiles, GeoJSONs, blah, 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 CSVs. It's really great. They do have a ton more options. This is actually a library that you can download to your computer. So it's a command line library, which is really great. You can find it just, I think, MapShaper GitHub is going to be where you can easily find it. And then you can perform all those commands also in your console, which is great, again, for, for files that are even like too large for the browser. So you might be working with like 40 gigabyte file and you don't want to do it but you want to have some of this this stuff in your browser so uh, and of course you can use some map shaper commands directly in it i rarely do that generally this site is just great for me one debugging large shape files from clients two simplifying them and three converting them converting them between formats geojson to a shapefile or a shapefile geojson that's how i most often use this site so really great tool make wide use of it especially when you're dealing with large files